Good to see you. Okay, the Democrats are ramping up their attempt to impeach the president over the Ukraine phone call. But look at this poll from the Associated Press. 69% believe it was inappropriate for Joe Biden's son, Hunter, to have a role at that Ukrainian natural gas company. He had a board seat there while his father was vice president and overseeing Ukraine. Only 27% thought it was appropriate. Even Hunter Biden admitted poor judgment. Watch. I don't think that there's a lot of things that would have happened in my life that uh, that if my last name wasn't Biden. In retrospect, I wish right, that my judgment... Right, but at the time, you never thought, this might not look right. You know what? I'm a human. And you know what? Did I make a mistake? Well, maybe in, in, in the grand scheme of things, yeah. But did I make a mistake based upon some un- ethical lapse? Absolutely not. Joining me now, Hans von Spakovsky, Heritage Founder and Senior Legal Fellow, your reaction to the AP Nork poll and in light of what Hunter Biden is saying, he's just human. Well, that, that poll shows the common sense of the American uh, people. I mean, look, let's look at this very plain. Hunter Biden was given a job making over $50,000 a month to be on the board of this Ukrainian energy company when he had absolutely no experience whatsoever that qualified him for the job. The only reason they would give it to him would be to curry favor with his father, the vice president who was handling diplomatic relations with the Ukraine. It's the, his, the vice president, his father, that potentially abused the power of his office, remember, to stop a potential corruption investigation of that energy company uh, that Hunter Biden was serving on. That's the real issue here, and it's something apparently Democrats do not want anybody looking into. It sounds really swampy. I mean, yeah. pretty swampy behavior. A Ukrainian official recently admitted the only reason Hunter Biden got that job was to protect Barisa from government scrutiny. I want to get to this. Hillary Clinton on a recent late night talk show, she did a Halloween kind of a spot, mocking her loss, blaming the, quote, scary electoral college as the reason. And now she agrees with Pelosi. She's urging Democrats, get a candidate who can win the electoral college. You're taking all of that? Well, obviously, that is what they should be doing, because we, the Electoral College system is how we elect our president, and that's how we've been doing it since George Washington. And for those who criticize it, no, it's actually a good system. Why? It ensures that the, the person who wins the presidency uh, is attracting a broad spectrum of Americans from across the country, as opposed to a candidate in a national popular vote system who just has to go to the big cities on the east and west coast uh, to get elected. That is not the kind yeah. of system we want. Yeah, and if it's the underpinning, it's the founding fathers' genius. Yes. They foresaw, this is about civil rights. It's about protecting the minority smaller states. It, right. That's a vivifying genius of the founding fathers' vision. It's, it pre- led to civil rights. Now, right after the election, to your point, Democrats tried to say, you know, get rid of the Electoral College because it got Trump the presidency. Then when they didn't get that, they went to, well, let's get his own cabinet to declare him unfit for office right. under the 25th Amendment. Then it was Russia. Now it's Ukraine. Uh, you know, that has to be added, woven into the whole narrative of the impeachment inquiry. They were looking to get rid of him even before he was elected. We have a Daily News op that said impeach him. That came from March 2016. Your take. Yeah, look, they've been trying to impeach him since almost the first day he was in office before he even carried out any of his duties. And here's the important thing for people to remember. The impeachment process was put in there if a president engaged in serious misconduct. Uh, It was not put in there so that members of Congress could remove a president who they personally don't like or because they disagree with his policies. And through today, they have not come up with any evidence of any kind of serious misconduct or any violation of any federal laws that would justify impeachment. Actual evidence. Hans Spakovsky, good to see you, sir. Thanks for having me. Next.